why don't you tell us a little bit of uh, how you got from being a law student mm -hmm. to you now have your own law firm as an accomplished trial lawyer. Yeah, many, many years ago, you mm -hmm. know, I, I was in law school and in law school you have what's called on-campus interviews. So I was interviewed by a few agencies, one of which was the Bronx DA's office. And I started out there, I accepted the position and I started out as a DA in 1999. Okay, you so know, not so, that long ago, yes, but yeah. I, <laughs> so, so yeah, so I started there, and um, it was that was a great experience for me, uh -huh. you know. Um, and I I remember from when I was in law school that the Bronx DA's office was probably the hardest to get into. So you were probably a very good law <laughs> student on top of that. Um, and and overall, how was your experience yeah. at the Bronx DA's office? How long did you work there for? I was there for a little over four years, and it was really a great experience because in being a prosecutor, you actually are trained on how to be a litigator. So you have intense training. I think the training is about two weeks where you literally learn from how to make an opening statement to how to present yourself in court and how to make a record, right? So that is sort of like the 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 place where you can build your foundation as an attorney, if you think you may want to be an, a litigator, um, working at a prosecutor's office is great. The Bronx was the best. I love the Bronx <laughs> DA's office because we were really like a family. And I actually miss those days every so often, okay. you know. But at some point as a prosecutor, you learn so much. And I did a lot of trials as a prosecutor. I tried a lot of cases. I'd sometimes be waiting for a verdict and I'd have a supervisor say, oh, this judge is going to be waiting for you to pick a jury. But I really enjoyed it, you know, and it was a lot of volume. Uh -huh. So I enjoyed prosecuting cases, building cases, bringing in uh, witnesses. Um, I had situations where a witness may not want to cooperate. And I would literally go out with the DIs into the apartment buildings and try to get witnesses to come, come in and testify. Also, too, you're sometimes on what they call beeper duty. Well, back then you have beepers. I'm sure now it's different. Beepers. And if there was a homicide in the Bronx, it could be at two o'clock in the morning, you would have to leave your home and go to the scene and possibly speak to witnesses or see if there was any evidence that you would want to have the detective focus on. Uh -huh. So it really was an intense, hands-on um, profession to be a prosecutor. 